please subscribe to my channel. And remember, enjoy the show. Alright, and we are back with the Vol song. <clears throat> oh wow, okay, what a way to start off. Thinking to set tongues wagging in the name of the Volsung, and thereby increase our prospects with the nobility, you pushed your men to great deeds, outstanding bravery, and plentiful bloodshed. After several contracts and more than a few skirmishes, you worked hard enough and long enough to have some of the lords take notice of your company's competence. <clears throat> These are the gentle folk who rule the land by virtue of some long-dead ancestor subjugating a group of unarmed peasants as Wilfried the Hound puts it. Now these pampered inbred fops are well impressed enough with you to grind the company in one of their feuds. If you wash your face and ask politely, they will they should favor you with a profitable contract now and again. You can congratulate yourself. <clears throat> so the company's gained renown. We can now get noble contracts, which means when you go to the big towns like the castles and stuff, you'll have contracts there. And you, your look on the world map has been updated. And so a lot of people got happy. Adler's content, I'm not sure. So we, we are about to reach deep into the nobility's deep pockets. Let's pause it. So if you look at us now, we look like we're more armored. We look bigger. More, uh, I guess, noble or whatever. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> All right, we have to go up here and kill a bunch of undead. So the hole into the ruins is big enough for only one man to get through. You're worried that if everyone goes in at once, they'll get stuck, and you'll have basically killed the Volsung off like a bunch of rats in a tunnel, tight tunnel. Instead, you send the on, you're in only Hakon the Crawler. Who knows what he's after and who you trust... Let me say it. Hakon the Crawler, who knows what he's after and who you trust can take care of himself were anything to happen. A few minutes later, and you hear the man struggling to crawl back out, and he sounds to be a, to be in quite the rush. He yells for help, and you and a few other mercenaries stick their hands in the hole. He grabs on. Together, you yank him out. He's got the prophet's pamphlet, but a horrified look on his face. He rolls over and gets up in a hurry. Hurry to arms! As the mercenaries look into the hole to see if something's coming out, you ask the brother what he saw, and he shakes his head. I don't know, sir. It was a mausoleum for people I've never seen before. There was armor and spears all over the place and murals of a great empire that spanned the whole world over, painted from floor to ceiling. And then they started coming out of the walls. I got out of there as fast as I could and before you could even finish, the rubble where the hole used to be begins to shift and move. Stones roll away and suddenly they're all burst outward, a malevolent force standing there, armed and well-armored men standing in formation, spears over shields, shuffling forward in uniform steps. Their leader points directly at you. The Emperor, the Empire rises, the False King must die. You never heard sure fighting words and pre pre prepare your men for battle. So this time I'm getting ancient auxiliaries and legionaries. Legionaries are their level two one, so basically they're tougher guys. And we're in for a rough fight. So. This is a legionary. Um, spear shield, or er, sword shield, spear shield on this one. That's an auxiliary. Auxiliary. Okay, so there's ten of them. We don't see all of them. We see the vast majority of them, though. Um, so far, we don't see any that have the the reach weapons. So we are okay-ish. Um, he's not in range. You're gonna wait. I'm actually going to make all three of my archers wait at the moment. Everyone else is going to just fortify or F, which basically gives them defense bonus. They rest. We're going to see what happens, where these guys go. <clears throat> this is going to be a very difficult battle. And again, like all battles with the undead, it's, um, we have to break them while holding off the battle of attrition, basically. So we, we're very timed in this battle. They don't get tired, we do. <clears throat> so from what I can see, there's two legionaries. They both are sword and shield. I do not see anybody who has the uh, two-handed weapons. There's two 
that we can shoot that have no shields, so they should be easier, quicker kills. And we're going to focus on them. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. My archers proved to be useless. All right. Our spear guys are going to make the spear wall and defend. Everybody on my front line is going to defend. <clears throat> Archers are doing really bad today. Oh, we finally got a hit. Not like the archers do a huge amount, they're pretty weak. Okay, so he's already wavering. That's not good. Oh, there's three that have no shield. Okay, that works. Nice. So far, we're looking all right. Please don't break. That's good. We got one already. To do. All right, let's take a crack at this legionary. See if we can break him a little bit. Uh, this guy's gonna smack this one. That one's almost dead. Anything can finish him off. Just scratch him. All right, we're gonna poke this one here. That's bad. He's trying to run. Oh no, he's not. He's just breaking. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna actually shove. The legionary didn't work. Okay, well, we're going to stab the legionary then. Now he's breaking. Alright, well, he's broken, so that's very bad. That means he has basically no defensive advantage right now. Good as I'd like it to, and great, just like that. Ooh, nice! We almost took out the legionary. That will help. That legionary took a good hit. Okay, shield. Missed twice, not cool. And he's basically stammed out now. Or out of uh, fatigue. This dodge on this one is ridiculous. <laughs> Shoot a the legionary. Ouch. Really? Jeez. 
just... Oh, that worked. Alright, well, we're winning, but it's looking bleak. I don't want to lose more. Oh my god. Stupid dodge a million times smacked me so hard. Alright, well, we keep going. Good. Getting tired of all these guys missing every single hit. Nice. And he's retreating. Great. Poking away, try and get these guys down. Oh, great. Now that one's getting hit. Finish it off already. Oh, my God. You guys are so bad at this. How is it you can't hit these guys? They're like right in... F oh, great. And he died because he tried to run away. I tried to save him, too. That didn't obviously work out very well. These guys need their shields to break already. Great, now he's running away. So our left flank has completely failed yet again. Why can't you guys break this thing? Come on. This is getting ridiculous. Well, his shield is cracked. It's a good sign. Still taking way too long. No, oh, we, we buried one of them. It only took whacking at him for a year. feeling that was going to happen. Yay! One less to worry about. Alright, let's, let's get this legionary. Nice. Okay. Now everybody can focus on the last legionary. And we will be good. And its shield is almost broken. Which is also very good. Do, 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 do. Whack, whack, whack. We lost a lot of guys again. Not happy about that, but, you know, I mean, we're down, we lost four. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Okay. So, this will pretty much end it once we hit him again. Shield down. And boom. Okay. So, three of the four died. Guido got a permanent injury. I don't like that Wilfried the Hound went down because he's another one of our original guys. So, we're... Our more veteran and better fighters are starting to die off. And this is not cool. That's bad. Alright, so the battle's over. The profit pamphlets are obtained. We tell the men to return to Earnhardt, the trade master. We're not entirely sure who or what just attacked you, but we get paid for it. So, alright. Let's look at what we got here. We don't even have a full crew anymore. That's not good at all. That's really not good. I'm not thrilled with that, but, you know, what can you do? So for archers, usually footwork is a good one. Because then when somebody gets up next to you, you can use footwork and walk away from them without having an issue. Alrighty, and so we got to go back to Sankai, and on we go. Oh, while we're at it, we should probably go over here to the stash and move all the weapons and stuff of our guys down here that we got to replace now. Okay, so Sankai now has high spirits. Um, the Trade Master meets us at the town square. We hand over the Prophet's pamphlets, and the man cradled it as if it were an infant he thought lost. After a moment of awkward embrace with the relic, he holds it up high, letting the townspeople see it. They cheer for a time too long, truly. You have to elbow Earnhardt the Trade Master to remind him to pay you. The townsfolk are in good spirit. That means that they're willing to do more business with us. So let's go to hiring. We need a bunch of people. So, Fisher, we'll take the Fisher. Try him out. He's a brute. Means uh, plus 15 damage on head. And negative 5 melee skills. So he's not very. Okay, well, we'll take him anyways. Uh, rat catchers. Not really. I don't know. Vagabond. Never strong learning in school, Leonhard dropped out to wander the earth. Strangely, one day he came across his long-forgotten brother he never had, who said there was plenty of walking to be done for a mercenary outfit, and they'd pay him to do it, too. Mucking about this violent land and surviving with all his limbs is a lot more than some folks can say. And um, there's Will's Greek the Pilgrim. He's a flagellant. Flagons are usually pretty good guys. Uh, he's dumb, so he gets negative 15 experience. I don't think that's a very good one for us. The former militia, he has no side effects. We'll take him. Let's see here. I guess we'll look at these rat catchers. See if we get. This guy's green skins. He always oh, hate for green skins, so plus 10 resolve when fighting them. And he's insecure, so he will never be of confident morale. That's not really something I like try out. He's an iron jaw, so his threshold to sustain injuries is getting hit, so he's better at that. He has less resolve, so I... I don't like this less resolve stuff. This guy is afraid of green skins, so yeah, we don't really like all the people that we got left here. <sighs> well, let's pay for a round for our guys. Most of them are probably pretty unhappy. We had a bunch of deaths just now, so... Can't really say I blame them. Alrighty. So, this guy, Winrick, um, let's see here, let's make him our cleaver. So, let's see, we we'll give him that, that, shield, um, we didn't get any armor, so it's kind of, you know, Pointless for that. 
Where'd my other spear guy go? Oh, wait, he must have fallen too. All right, so you, Friso, you're going to be a spear guy. And um, that puts us at 12 there. Let's see here. Okay, going back. Let's leave the bar. So this right here is a noble contract. Um, they usually pay more. They're not always better. Okay, so let's see. We can get. We need food, so let's buy a couple foods. We need tools. They're extremely overpriced, so we're not going to buy them. And we're gonna go sell all this stuff off. I'm gonna keep some of the helmets um, because we might need them for uniforms. I'm not entirely sure on that, though. but we might. So it's a thing. I'm gonna sell the large wolf pelts and all the teeth too because we do need the money. All right. So we have the option of staying here and doing more quests. Or we can go somewhere else. Um, I'm half tempted to go somewhere else and get more quests just because we do need the supplies and we need the money and this place is not paying us too well. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head over here to Weiss real quick. And then we'll start heading down to the rest of the south. So we spend 234 a day on our current crew. And we've lost a lot of people. We've gone down hit the mercenary crew has gone very downhill from its success never truly had a very successful moment but it's not looking as good I mean look at our death count peoples it's getting bad um, Wilfried the Hound was with us for 43 days Minerod 42 days Ulrich 40 Walram 32 so most of our so a lot of our guys that are really experienced are dropping and that's bad those are our highest level people. Oh, okay. We need to wait. Camp for a minute. Alright, we're in Weiss. Weiss is, has been raided recently. Okay, so there's a three skull here, which is really difficult, and there's a two skull. Um, before we go about doing either of those, we have a farmer, Bruno. He's determined, so he starts with a confident morale, and he's an optimist, so plus five resolve at positive morale checks, and his bad mood fades. That's really good. I'm going to take him. And we are going to make him be our new axe bro. So, axe bro, I'm giving you a helmet. Um... I could give you that. I'm not so sure it's worth it, but you know, whatever. So, yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at their market. The prices are probably cranked up a little bit because they have been raided recently. They're still better than the other place. All right, let's sell that back. We don't need it leaving the market. We're going to take this one because it's only a two skulls. So a straight-backed man walks towards you. He's got a scroll in, lift in a lifted arm, approaching you like a messenger boarded on stilts. He says nothing, merely extends his arm to you, and you merely take the message as your gesture to do. It reads that the local nobleman is looking for you and presumably your services. You thank the messenger, but he says nothing, simply turning and sitting his way down, stilting his way down the road. All right, so we go, it's Baron Wenzel von Amont. He takes a swig of his wine and then burps. He seems rather annoyed. I don't ordinarily ask you mercenaries to do patrols for me, but most of my men are currently tied up elsewhere. It's a pretty simple task. Just go to San Kai, then to Krauschfest, then return here within seven days. Along the way, slay every man or beast that be a danger to the people in these lands, but do be sure to collect their heads. I'll be paying you a trophy. Buy the trophy. Not by how many miles you've walked. Okay, so how much are we talking? 59 crowns per head. 300 in advance. If I say more, usually they don't... 
usually the nobles don't negotiate too well with that. So we go to Sankai, Crouchfest, and then Weist. Okay. So we accept. We're going to do this. All right. So first, pause. So we got to go to Sankai, Crouchfest, then back to Weist. So we're going to head over to Sankai again. This time we're going to zoom in and watch us. Because we want to find things and kill them. At this point, we only got paid 300. And that's really not a hefty paycheck. So. And we can only kill up to 20. So. There's that to think about as well. Okay, so we stop at Sankai. We rest. We have more road ahead, so we now we figure now's a good time to resupply. I'm gonna come in here, drink a little bit, and then keep moving. We actually have to walk all the way to Crouch. Okay, during camp, as the company takes a break, you decide to address the men, brothers. I want you to. I want everyone to know the Volsung are not just cutthroats and errand boys, but skilled fighters of the First Order. Words of our deed must spread, so the merchants and noble men are begging us to take their contracts. So what do we do? We can barely carry any more equipment and or spoils of war. Let's save up and get a cart to relieve our backs. Already we are known in some parts of the land, yet we are still far from being a legendary company. We shall increase our renown further. Let's build our numbers to 20 men so that wounded may rest and the weary regain their strength between skirmishes. The company is doing great. We need no ambitions. I'm actually going to say let's get our numbers to 20. Because personally, that's a very good one for me, in my opinion. That's I, that's what I usually go for anyways. Noxers! Noxers! Let's go after them. Catches them. Yes. Alright, so this is a good one because it gives uh, some of our newbies the chance of getting experience. But we also will get six heads out of this. That is a huge Noxer. Oh, wow. That is, that's huge. Um, moving you up one. That, that's absolutely massive. I'm focusing fire on it. Like, everyone needs to kill that one. That's simply... The, oh, wow. Well, okay. You're going to head up this way. Front line shall defend. I have a feeling he's going to step there and swallow him. He's actually pretty hurt still. That's not good. Um, maybe I should actually... I'm going to do spear wall and then defend. Try and get them to not engage him. Ouch. Okay. This one's done for, pretty much. Let's take out the ones that are an immediate threat. Kill the big one. Kill the big one. Downed. My archers seem to have gotten worse over the days, so I don't know what happened, but you know, they're not so good anymore. Um, if you can step here, poke the big one. Axe the big one. Um. Nice. Spear the big one. It didn't die. Alright. Looks like the big one's not acting right away. Which is actually in our benefit. So. Um, let's see. I'm going to have you move over here. Because the big one now died. Do 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 do. Okay. 
<sighs> that big one had me scared, I'm not gonna lie. I thought Guido was dead. We are not letting you run away. Infidel, we need your head. No running for you. There we go. Continue. We got two teeth. Not really a big deal. Um, we got six heads. So that's six of 20. I didn't realize Guido was so hurt still. Oh, he's over here. Okay, so he's got the cut Achilles tendon, which will heal in a couple days. Okay, that gives him less initiative and costs him more action points. His elbow is broken, so he has less melee range skill and defense. Uh, he's only level one. I might end up getting rid of him. In fact, I think I'm going to take Winric, stick him up here, and make Winric a spear boy. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're probably going to send him home. His uh, injuries and stuff are not too beneficial to me. I don't really know how... Oh, I, right here. So, there we go. Oh, he left us the tunic, which is useless garbage, so whatever. Alright, so we did get our first victory. We're going over to Crouchfest. Because, I mean, ultimately, with his him not being able to do damage or having less skill, period, in defense and offense, he's a liability. He's going to die. Like, it, it's that's a huge negative. All right, so we got some orc youngs. Let's kill them. Kill the orcs. All right. Wait. Here they come. There's only five of them. So that'll put us at 12. All right. Orcs are rough. They're they're very dangerous. But they're only young which is good. To be honest, if they were anything that was bigger than the young, we probably have some issues. All right, here we go. I need, I'm just gonna wait. They're gonna jump and do this thing, which is annoying, but... Alright. Nice. Boom! Wreckaging. We are wrecking these guys pretty hard right now. Alright. That didn't work. Um... Wait a minute. Missed. Well, he hit, but he missed. <laughs> if that even makes sense. You're moving up here. Dead. Whack. Ooh, I, I messed up there. I could have shot my own guy. <clears throat> but we did end up successfully smacking that thing, so it's all good. Alright. Stabby, stabby. I'm going to have you move up to here. We're actually going to close in on them now. Alright. Shoot that one. Reload. He's no longer stunned. That one's down. That one's probably going to jump right there. Oh, wow. That was not cool. Kill that one. Okay, he didn't kill it. Failed. Interesting choice. Hey, you're falling back because you're hurt bad.
And we are completely abolishing these orcs. They don't stand a chance. And I'm not complaining. Easy victories is easy money. And it's good experience. Which is very good. We need both of those right now. Okay, let's go over to loot. Got a couple stuff. Some ammo, tools, the strange meat. Um, you know, good stuff. We needed all that. Okay, that puts us at 11. We're going to go up all the way around, aren't we? Alright, well, let's go up all the way around then. We may just make a stop at Harlingen while we're at it. There's some Naxxers. All right. Before we go into that battle, Friso is hurt. So... Hmm. Pull him out. We're going to shift uh, some stuff around here like that. There we go. We're going to kill some Naxxers. Oh, what a perfect spot for us. This right here, this water, is like, is basically a debuff zone. They're a lot weaker in there. They can't move as fast. And we have the high ground. So we basically spawned in the perfect battle spot for this. We're just going to shoot them down. Huge. Okay. So there's a big one. Focus fire. We do have a lot of archers, so focusing fire is not necessarily going to be a bad thing. Killing the big one. Wow. Got a medium one. Half expected that might happen, but I didn't call it because I don't know. I wasn't sure. This big one, we definitely need to kill him though. Pew 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 pew. Missing is not cool, guys. You should stop that now. We're going to advance with these guys. And he, he slashed instead of swallowing somebody. I find that a surprisingly... Well, not surprising, but an interesting choice of movement. I figured he was going to swallow somebody. That's what they normally do. Big one is down. Ouch. Need to kill this one now, because Windrick is taking a lot of damage here. Um, you can shoot this one. That one's dead. Let's move in. A 
Okay, people. You are literally failing Winric here. He failed to push it away, so it's... Yeah. The Nakazur that can't be hit. How did I see that coming? <clears throat> now, of course, it takes one hit and dies. Why am I not surprised? Well, that's not cool. Hopefully, Winrick is not dead. Um, and hopefully, his permanent injury isn't worth being dismissed over. But... I have zero guarantees. Alright, so that's dead. Oh, he's gone. That's not a happy time. But, you know. Need a new spearman already. We have 17 now. I'm definitely heading to Harlingen. And that was me putting it on super speed, by the way. Now, Harlingen is technically not some place that we're supposed to go. Um, my people need a drink. We need to go to the marketplace, sell a couple orc stuff. Um, we could buy these and then sell them when we get to our destination. That wouldn't be a bad idea too expensive. That's not too expensive, but it's pricey. Let's see what we got here in terms of peoples. We got two farm hands. We don't have a lot of money, so... Fearless. And you'll receive bleed damage for an additional turn. That's not terrible. I'm going to go ahead and take him because Fearless is actually pretty good. And he will become... A spearman. Yeah, why not? Refill the ranks. Get to go over here and uh, hopefully not die. That's that. I'll sell the teeth too because we will want the money. Okay. Um, let's leave. Let's head over to Crouchfest. And we'll keep our eyes out for one easy fight, because that's all we need now. So we're going to cross right here. Speed this up a little bit. Alright, so we're almost there. We're just going to camp now. Till dawn. Alright, Crouch Fest is just where it was said to be. You have the men go for some rest and recuperation while we plan out the last leg of the patrol. Okay, we're going to jump in here real quick. Um... I'm going to sell the amber and all this linen. That'll give us a bit more money to work with. We're low on food. Let's grab some. Um, their food prices are expensive. So is... The only thing that's not expensive here is ammo. So we're going to grab one. They have a dog. They have a lot of stuff. Like, they have really high-end helmets. Ooh. But... We can't afford that. They also have a lot of peoples. And it looks like we really can't afford a whole lot of them either. Might be able to go with an apprentice. Sounds not so bad. But at the moment, I'd rather not. I'm going to hold it. We're going to pinch our pennies at the moment. 
We will take a drink, though. They have an armor. Okay, that explains why they have such high quality. And if you look, see some of these? Like, really expensive armor. Really good. Really good armor. Um, yeah. Some amazing helmets, too, like this one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But we can't afford any of that right now. So, for the time being, we are going to have to back off. They also have a weaponsmith, so they make really good weapons, too. Alright, so we're leaving. We're going to go get paid, because we need to. During camp, food is di as diverse as any nobleman's or close enough. Anyways, that's what you have supplied the company, and the men are supremely appreciative as they chow down. So basically, we had a decent amount, def uh, variation of food. I don't think so, but, you know, whatever. And they like it. So we're heading this way. Keeping our eyes out for anything we can kill. I'd like to get three more heads, but if we don't, I'm not going to complain too much. 59 per head is not bad. With 17. I mean, 20 heads, that's like... Okay, so we got a thousand. And that's not bad, like I said. Um, We're doing a little bit better now. I mean, we still have... A boatload of problems, so I'm not even going to get started on that. Um, cut leg muscles. This guy's gained a level. Level one! He's now level two. Very nice, Bruno. Very nice. Good job. Um, you need health. You need morale. Or resolve, or whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm going to give you... some defense here. Let's go ahead and get this. We need money. Um, okay, so we have many reports that brigands are about to attack. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. We're basically helping defend them. Paid a little bit more for that. 2,200 is good pay. We accept. Let's see what kind of peoples we got. We're going to need a couple of them. So Joss is a farmer. He's a drunkard. Uh, okay, that's fine. Could be worse. We've got two Vagabonds. Let's see what they've got. This one's fine, just normal. This guy's Dexterous, Melee Skill, and Optimist. Okay, that's a good one, too. So we got a couple good peoples. Let's see here. You're injured, so you need to fall back. You... Let's go to Stash, not that. Um, I don't need both of my archers out right away. Let's go ahead and make you the military pick guy. You can be the next spearman. Um, so, over there you go. And then you don't need this. You're going to be an axe. And I do not expect them all to survive. If they do, I'm not going to complain. At all. But if they don't... Eh. Alright. So we are literally going to sit here and wait. Oh, we need to get food. Forgot about that. Alright, marketplace. We need a grains, a loaf of bread, why not? Um, they don't have tools. Okay, you can have a knife back. I don't need that. Alright. Position ourselves like right about there. Alright. Here they are. Here we go. Not really sure where they're at. There they are. There's more than one group. First one to go. All right, here we go. Do to do. Okay, so finally we get a mission against the brigands. 
because I'm happy with that because that means we have a chance to get better gear, which we are sorely in need of. So, here we go. Let's kill peoples. They have a hill advantage on the left flank. I might shift the flank down one. So, spacebar. I don't want to give them the hill advantage. It's not really necessary. We can shift down one space. They have no advantage. Okay. Come on. Go to the bottom guy first. There we go. Alright. You can fortify. I'll have him move down. Okay, that didn't work well. Um, actually, that should work just fine right there. You can fortify. You can fortify. You can fortify. Oh, we have both of my pick guys out here. Fortify. Fortify. Move down one. And then see, now they don't have the cliff advantage. Just like that. Eliminate their advantage. So I have to charge in. And basically be kind of less happy. Alright, we're going to shoot that one. Nice. See, they all have, these guys all have much better armor. So that's a lot of armor that we can get to supply our newbie guys with much better gear. Alright, we're moving in. Oh, wow. Can you guys cut it out? You guys always have to go after my newbies. It's really annoying. Alright, you need to get out of there. I want you to die. Nice hits. I'll have you go up around here. Move in. Poke away. Let's kill this one. Or not. That one's going to move in. Okay. You move up. Annoying. Alright. You want to play that game? Wow. Massive hit. Not cool. Cool. Not cool at all. <laughs> Elmer is going to town, guys. Nice. That's not cool. This guy. Okay, now it's our move. Smack up this guy. Smack up this guy. Nice. That guy's getting obliterated. How many more of these javelins you guys got? Okay. Say, it's starting to get a little ridiculous here. Blocked. Ouch. That is not acceptable, you guys. How are they better at javelins than my archers are at shooting them? Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, that only won't work very well. I'm going to wait for a minute. Have him do that. And then, yeah, I'm going to move you up. Kill them. Die. Actually. And 
knew it. Alright, so you can't do anything, so you're just going to defend. This guy's trying to run away. He literally got away. Are you kidding me? Yeah, why am I not surprised there? Shoot that one. Reload. You move here. Stab that one. You're able to give chase, so I'm going to do just that. I'm going to chase down this guy. These two are going to go that way. I'm actually going to three him here because I need to get him out of the situation where he's basically going to die. You're annoying, so you need to stop like being so annoying. In the meantime, I'm going to let Elmer obliterate these guys. All right, so let's see here. Stabby. Ooh, nice, we got him. Nice, knockback. Now you can run, that's good. We got him out of that scenario. Oh, well, I, okay, I can kind of see why they do that. Boop. Do, 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 do. All right, so this is pretty much in the bag now. So let's see here. You're going to defend. Come on, Elmer. We're trusting you to get these guys. You've been you've been the tool to destroying them so far. <clears throat> okay. Interesting choice. You're just defending Oscar. Down. Down. Boom. Boom. Do to do to do. Yeah, they're in he's in trouble. He knows he's screwed right now. And now that we have him in a box, he can't even run away. I want your gear. So no, you are not going to be allowed to retreat. All right, continue. See, we got some gear, not a lot, but it's something, it's worth something. Very nice. All right, so before we continue, let's go to the space bar. Oscar's really badly hurt, um, I mean, Eight health left. Friso, he's not so good with the fractured elbow, but he's better off than Oscar was. Light wounds, he's okay. Mark word, nah, nah, I'm not so good with that one. The archers, I will leave in there. I'm going to actually take Bruno out, put in the other archer here. And then we're going to swap him up here with the spear guy. All right. You, spear. Guess what? You just got promoted. <laughs> Better armor. Helmet. Um, Better helmet. You have a hand axe. We didn't get the better one, so that's okay. Morning star. My flail guy, or my mace already has a morning star. Okay. Let's see, reach advantage, no. Overwhelming is not a bad one. Um, underdog is very good. I love underdog. All right, leather lamellar. Who needs the next set of armor? Elmer, you did really good in the last fight. I'm going to promote you as well. All right, so let's see here. 
levels. Gustav leveled up. Um, no, I just gave him that. Alright, level up. You want health. 50 is good. We're almost where we want with this. And defense. Alvar leveled up. Let's see here. You want footwork. You want... Uh, health is good. I'm going to give you damage. For the archers, they don't usually need a huge resolve. Because if it's at the point where they're getting ready to retreat, they pretty much need to. Um, so, actually, no, cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and do the health, because I do want him to have 80 health. And I'm going to give him some melee damage. Because so we're at the point where there's, we're going to start be dealing with orcs and some other stuff that's actually more likely to get to the back line. You want them to have a little bit of melee damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of the next group of brigands. Orc hunters. Wow. Okay, marksmen and raiders. Okay, so there's some archers this time. <sighs> Instantly shot sniped. Wow, you guys are really not fun. Wow, how many archers do you have? This is a big group, and they're very well equipped. Um, of course, their archers can shoot further than we can. I don't. I've never understood that. How is it their archers can shoot so much further than mine can? Illogical. Alright, I need my archers to wait so my front line can move forward. I find it funny my back line moves before my front line does, but, you know. Do, 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 do. Probably should have moved him in the grass, because then they can't see him. Alright. Archers are moving forward now, so we can actually shoot you guys, because you guys have this cheat enabled for aiming further than we can shoot, which is ridiculous. Wow. He was not happy. That was an awesome shot. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can finish him off. Nope. That's the point. Alright, here we go. Next round. Shooting, miss. Shooting. Not shooting, retreating. Okay. Shooting. Hit. Bad hit. Bad juju. And he shoots. And he front he retreats. I hate it how these guys can retreat and shoot outside of our range. Look at his bow. He's got a really nice looking bow. Hmm. Javelins? I don't think so, boy. step up here with this guy beat at him move my line forward two spaces again but this time my archers are moving first shoot that one or you can miss horribly um. let's see here you're going here I'm gonna actually move my spear guy up around this way and that's so that we can stop this guy from javelining all my peoples, which is really, really not fun. Alright, sniping. I guess we have to shoot these guys because their archers are out of our range for whatever dumb reason. And of course. Now, I guess this guy's aren't, so we'll shoot at those ones. And we don't get any hits this time. Okay, so we have basically their whole line is really strong opponents and it's really not that nice for us but you know we do what we can we're gonna have to do something i mean this is gonna get crazy i need to 
you to charge up as far as you can. Actually, go into the bush. You here? Yep. Let's move these guys up. Poke at them. We break their front line and they're pretty much done for, so that's what I'm looking at right now. Okay, you go there. Alright. One down. Perfect. That's what I have to say to that. <sighs> Shoot that one. Or you can miss everything. But I'm going to do this. Boom! Howl! Alright, let's kill this guy. Or miss. But I intend to kill him, so... He's running. Come up here. Next one in line. And you're gonna have to move up this way. So Volker is now gonna fall back because he's he's dead if he doesn't do anything. Right. Take this guy down already. Or that guy. Wow, that I see what he's doing. Okay. Didn't quite expect that one. This is ridiculous. Why are these guys like ten times better than me? whatever? This is kinda annoying me. Some of this is kind of annoying, actually. Alright, let's go here. You go there. I pushed the wrong button. He's going to defend. He's pretty much fatigued out. The archers are going to try and pick off our guys that are weak. Uh, we don't really want that. Nice. That was a very nice shot. Still missing. Okay, he's going javelin mode. No wonder he fell back like that. Or no. He didn't fall back, he got pushed back, but no wonder he didn't care. Um, let's see here. Sniping the archers is always good. Except that my archers can't seem to hit anything. Going back to that. I need to kill him. He's getting really annoying. Alright, we're going to go all out chasing him. can't even do anything. Oh, he's bleeding out, too. Wow, why am I not surprised? We 
Okay, they didn't move very far, so he should be able to run up and at least get one of them in melee. I'm hoping he can get both. I doubt it, though. Nice. This guy's now getting the sudden ability to block everything, too. Oh, he's trying to run away now. That's good. And he's got it. Ha! If you're trying to run away, I'm going to move here and have him kill him. You're just defending because you're in a bad, bad position. They're slightly well equipped. Let's see here. Keep shooting this guy. Nice. Very nice. He's finally breaking in his defensive impenetrable wave. Keep on going here. Whack. Miss. Whack and a hit. Whack and a miss. Alrighty. This one again. We broke him finally, it looks like. I really don't like how this bush is like super defensive armor for all these guys. It's kind of annoying, but you know, it is whatever. Alright, so he's really hurt. I'm literally just going to defend. He's not bleeding anymore, I don't think. Um, nope, he was bleeding. He bled out. That's... That's awesome. Well, I did say I was not expecting everyone to survive this fight, but I'm... Uh, still makes me grumpy. Pretty sure everybody can understand. Yay, we finally got this guy. And this guy's going to follow suit shortly up here all right he's down and now it's just an all-out charge they are stuck they can't get out so let's finish it off better equipment here we come as well as like 2,000 pay which is also really nice Do, 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 do. You're defending. Right here. Do, 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 do. You can defend. In we go. That guy's already trying to run now. Ah. Done. Smack. Doom. Done. Friso has died, sadly. A lot of gear. And we got a hunting bow, which is definitely a good bow. Looks like a longbow, almost. Alright. Misshapen men and crooked corpses litter the ground for... Uh, for battle gives the dead no sovereignty over how one comes to a final rest. The bodiless heads look at, at most peace, for in battle no man or beast has time to truly hack a neck away. It only comes by the quickest and sharpest of blade swings. Part of you hopes to go with such instant finality, but another part hopes you get the chance to take your killer down with you. Oscar comes to your side and asks for orders. You turn away from the field and tell the Volsung to get ready to return to Balon, the Guildmaster. Alright. We're back. Get paid. Uh, I saw a good deal of it. The killing, the dying. You take a seat. Hope you enjoyed the view. The show viewing is for is not free though. Mad nods, takes a satchel, and hands it over. I pay for an encore, but I'm not sure Weiss wants that. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so we got a bunch of gear. 
this helps us a lot. We'll go through it tomorrow because this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. I th um, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good evening.